Thank you. Thank you ever so much. This has been a marvelous journey. Thank you, WIPO, for opening up your doors in an exceptional show of institutional transparency and public participation, unequaled by any institution in this city, I would like to say. And I've seen a number of them. Thank you to those countries that supported us from the beginning, especially, but also thank you to other countries that did not, and blocks of countries, but that learned to progress forward with flexibility, that were able to change course when needed, despite almost unbearable pressure from some special interest lobbies. You have all set an example for international negotiation that was up and down, that went up sometimes to 12, 1 o'clock in the morning on Friday evenings. And thank you especially, I don't know who it was, who ordered the pizzas when we had nothing to eat at 1 o'clock in the morning on a Friday. The America's Treaty has set a marvelous precedent in international law because it uniquely combines disability rights, development goals for access to culture in the global south, access to knowledge in the digital sphere, copyright reform for users, recognition of the key intermediary role of librarians, and the importance of civil society initiatives for international lawmaking. Overall, today is the day to express special gratitude to an exceptional group of three or four key civil society campaigners around the world who have worked brilliantly and tirelessly for a number of years through a roller coaster ride of torturous meetings, political betrayals and alliances, high hopes and bitter despairs in order to make this treaty possible. Yes, the America's Treaty proves that positive change can be made even in giant global institutions and against great odds. And let me tell you, in today's world, that is no small thing. Thank you to these people who were really the salt of the earth, all of you here, and I'd like to mention a few people, some of which are here and some aren't here physically, and some aren't even on the earth anymore. It's been a privilege to work with you and fight with you, and without you, this treaty would not exist. People like Jamie Love, sitting up there from Knowledge Ecology International, his wife, Manon Ries, Dan Pescod, who's not here today, was one of the key negotiators of the EBU, um, but also members of delegations of some of the countries who went far beyond their professional role. People like Marcos de Sosa of Brazil, an incredible person. Raghavender from India, great leadership. Many of the people sitting up there right now, who I can't mention all of your names right now, people like Michelle Woods. Pablo Lucona, the late Raul Sherian, a leader of disabled people in India. Chris Friend, a tireless fighter. Marianne Diamond, Scott Labar over here on my right, Fred Schroeder, the Italian Rodolfo Catani, Tiru Balasubaramian, Ruth Ojeki, brilliant, Jim Frichterman, Barbara Martin, Francisca Martinez, Pranesh Prankesh, Nirmita, a blind lawyer in India, Teresa Hackett, Barbara Stratton, many lawyers. I could go on and on and on, and I, please forgive me the people whose names I have not said, and many of the people here today, but you have all made the Marrakesh Express. It's been an express of going up and down into something that's much more than just an old Beatles song. Thank you. Bye-bye.